Once we showed it worked on the laboratory scale, we wanted to take it out in the field to use our product in a real world scenario. So in this case, it was applying the treatment into the planter box and then collect the samples uh, in a repeated fashion three times throughout planting. After 20% of planting the plot, after 50% of planting the plot, and after 80% of planting the plot. And each time we stopped the planter, we would raise it up and we were collecting samples from the seed tube that we were then able to send back to New Leaf for them to be able to analyze and understand the efficacy of this product as planting progressed throughout the field. And so we would receive samples that had been treated and run through the planter, and then we would wash off the microbes from the seed and then spread them out on a Petri dish and grow them up. And once they had grown large enough, we would count them and show that we could meet our 1,000 microbes per seed target. And in fact, we found that we had exceeded that by 10 times. It, you know, as that's the thing with biologicals, is we identify them. One of the most difficult things is getting that stable microbe to the seed and still alive. So PlanterBox just basically solved all of those problems for us. It's convenient. It's something that growers are already doing. They're also doing it themselves, right? So it allows us to meet our customer at the farm gate and, and sell them something that they can use right while they're planting that fits well with the practice that they're already doing, which is using seed lubricant. And, and all of a sudden, you've got a really easy to use, powerful product that growers can simply put with their seed. Not only that, you get better spacing and flow through the planter. Uh, it's kind of a win-win for everybody, and we're excited for the growers to use it.